Teresa knows firsthand how a tipsy ride on an e-scooter can go terribly wrong. Oh no, oh no. We tripped up over the footpath. Um, I fell kind of face first and yeah, fractured three of my teeth. The 23-year-old managed to find her chipped front tooth on the pavement and calls herself one of the lucky ones. I was having trouble eating, I was having trouble drinking, which obviously in Darwin is an issue when it's so hot. Researchers in Darwin tracked e-scooter injuries in the city this year and found head trauma, broken bones and dental problems were the top injuries, costing the taxpayer $350,000 in hospital admissions alone. So it does have a significant impact on an already stretched health service. There's no denying hopping on an e-scooter can be fun and a convenient way of getting around in the tropics. But it's after dark that they're most problematic, especially when there's alcohol involved. You know, it would be nice to see a bit more public health messaging. It would be nice to see harm reduction approaches that raise awareness. The Queensland Government this month introduced speeding fines for scooter users. Researchers are calling on the Northern Territory Government to do more. If there can be um, some measures that can be put in place to ensure both scooter users and other uh, pedestrians are, are safer, uh, we certainly would look at that. The company that owns the scooters, Neuron, has defended its safety record. It's cold comfort for Teresa, who now refuses to go back on one, sober or otherwise. If my friends say, um, oh, let's not drive, let's scooter there, I, I say, I'd prefer to drive, thank you. Once bitten, twice shy in the brave new world of scooters. Eleni Roussos, ABC News.